Hi friends, welcome back to my coloring corner. The project is done. I finished the whale and I have worked through some of my fears on coloring more realistic images. And I have to say, approaching this in the way that I did was, I just kind of let whatever color I wanted to color something kind of happen. Even if it wasn't a, a realistic color, if that was like, the fish really wasn't going to be blue and green or the fish really wasn't going to be orange. I wanted to do it anyways because that was what I was feeling at the moment and at the time and so I did it. I just went for it and I am super proud of myself of working through something that I had a little fear and you know I wanted you guys to understand that you know even if you're not at the stage where you know you're I don't know how to say this, but kind of like understanding that pushing through stuff that you've never done before, or your apprehensions and coloring and always feel like you see somebody who's better than you or you feel that somebody is better than you and you want to do their kind of stuff so you, it stops you from progressing or stops you from coloring even, don't let it happen. I want you to understand that, you know, tackle it, go for it. I'll let just kind of take a deep breath and my saying is that I tell everybody that is new to coloring who hasn't colored you breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth and you just let it go and once you get into that coloring zone I like to call it the coloring zone you kind of like the whole rest of the world fades away and you find yourself in this zone where just you're picking colors and you just it works they all just kind of start working together and it starts gelling and you know there's no right or wrong way to color you can do whatever you want and you can use every kind of medium you want i am one of those colorists that likes to use colored pencils markers sometimes i'll use paint sometimes if i have the mood i'll use watercolors i'll use acrylic gouache I'll use gouache um, paint and you know I just one of those things where even if I want to I can I'll use paint pens I like kind of experimenting with all kinds of mediums and I kind of just I'm the person that will push them into um, all into one image and I just love doing that because it's just kind of my thing it's like I can't have enough uh, different materials going at the same time. I know that some people are like, okay, I'm strictly just colored pencil, or I'm strictly markers, or I don't do that kind of stuff, or I just do watercolors. I like to mix it up and kind of mi mix them together because it, for me, it gives me a different flavor. Because if you see in the past video, you'll notice that I took uh, markers as my underpainting on the whale, and then I added uh, colored pencils over the top. And then I took uh, chalk pastels and I colored the background with that. And then I took uh, line, uh, fine liner, uh, the Stadler fine liner pens, and I used that to outline some of the stuff. And then come came back and used some colored pencils on the coral pieces and all that stuff. And I found that that is just it's a neat technique. And I learned it from a lady in a coloring group called Sam. She has a, a YouTube uh, channel. I will have all the links for her channel in the description box below. So yeah, check out her channel. It's uh, I believe it's Sam's Tutorials. And she has a fantastic Facebook page and a fantastic YouTube channel where she goes step by step and talks about the different techniques. And she really truly does give a lot of helpful and encouraging words while she is teaching you guys how to do different steps and she's great at it and I just I envy her because I would love to be able to explain how I do things in that kind of manner but I don't really kind of do that I, I do things more subconsciously and it's hard for me to explain it in that way and she does a fantastic job explaining it that so go check out her channel and her Facebook ch page and yeah, so that's all I really have to say about this piece. Um, sit back and relax and enjoy the rest of my coloring. And thanks for watching. And I do want to apologize 
um, profusely about not having this up um, in the last couple of days. It's just, it's been kind of weird with everything. My husband has a different work schedule right now, and I'm working and dealing with two young kids under the age of 10, and so yeah. So uh, hopefully, um, once my son goes to kindergarten in the fall, or not the fall, in the next couple uh, weeks, I will be able to put more um, time into my coloring and more time into hanging out with you uh, awesome people and friends and and getting to know you guys a little bit more and understanding and yeah being a helpful uh, tool for you guys when you're coloring I just really want you guys to have um, look at me as a resource and if you guys feel that you need want or have uh, questions ask them I feel free I love to see them I also do have a, a Facebook page on um, the artful colorist and come check me out in my little nook of the internet and if you have any questions or comments post them there too or you can also post um, pictures of the stuff that you color I'd love to see what you guys are doing and projects you're working on so yeah, thanks for uh, sticking around with this project and in the next couple weeks, um, I hopefully I gotta work out the details, but I'm going to be working on building a pen case out of foam board and uh, plexiglass. It's gonna be kind of cool. I saw a picture of it on um, Pinterest and I really want to give it a try and kind of show you guys it in a video. And, you know, maybe it'll be a fail. Maybe it'll work. I don't know. We'll take a look. Come on the journey with me, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.